today we will see about uh, simulation of reinforced concrete beam uh, using ANSYS APDL and uh, uh, we will go for solid modeling that is the quickest method of uh, simulation uh, so the size of the beam is uh, 200 mm by 400 mm and uh, the main bars are of uh, uh, dimension 12 mm hanger bars are uh, 10 mm in dimension uh, 10 mm dia and then uh, the stirrups are of diameter 6 mm okay so first we will go to ansys uh, launching so first you go to ansys apdl then you click mechanical APDL then the screen will open and the screen will be opening shortly so here uh, we are using the version uh, 17.0 now first of all you go to file then save as so you whatever location you like you save the file here as uh, for example beam dot db so db means it is a database so beam dot db you save and then click ok then if you want to put some title you can put some title also so change title uh, rcb using ansys apdl apdl means ansys parametric design language then you can scroll it so that uh, you can see this title here then first of all we should learn three things one is preprocessor another one is solution another one is general code processing whatever you simulate you have to use preprocessor in preprocessor first of all we will de define the element type you add the element uh, then you go to solid concrete 65 you select for concrete element and uh, again you go to add and then you go to beam you select uh, beam only 88 element which is explicitly used for simulation of the uh, reinforced uh, simulation of the reinforcement you close that then you go to real constant then add just click add it is asking what type of real constant you want so you select solid 65 and click ok so here it is asking for fiber reinforcement or uh, uh, you can simulate approximately the steel reinforced concrete by giving <coughs> volume ratio material number and all so you just leave it if you don't want any fiber reinforcement then you cannot add real constant for beam 188 it will show as it is then close it then go to material properties then click uh, material models then you click structural uh, linear elastic isotropic so we will uh, put the Young's modulus of concrete. So 5000 root FCK, 5000 into square root of 25 is, uh, you will get uh, here uh, 25,000, okay. Then the Poisson's ratio for concrete is 0 0.20. You just enter that. Then you go to density you enter the concrete uh, density 2500 kg per meter cube then you go to non-linear inelastic non-metal plasticity concrete here it will ask for open shear transfer coefficient you put 0 0.20 then closed shear uh, transfer coefficient is 0 0.90 and uh, uniaxial cracking stress is uh, 0.7 root fck so we will give 3.5 units newton per millimeter square then uniaxial crushing stress is uh, as you know 25 newton per millimeter square okay 
if you have uh, any uh, stress strain curve for concrete you can include otherwise what you can do is you leave uh, these properties as it is this is model number one is for concrete and you go to new model okay then you define the material id2 this is for steel so steel also you go to linear elastic isotropic you provide uh, 2 into 10 power 5 and 0 0.30 2 into 10 power 5 is Young's modulus and 0 0.30 is Poisson's ratio then you define density also so how to define density here uh, you will find density it is 7850 units click okay. so now we are ready for simulation we have given material model number one material model number two okay so we can close this then now whatever simulation and meshing you are doing pre-processor is the option so first we will model go to modeling we will create key points in active coordinate system don't put key point number it will automatically generate <coughs> so first of all it is 0 0 and 0 apply then the width of the beam is 200 along x axis you click apply you either you can click apply otherwise if you click ok it will be completed so ok you click then there is uh, no key points are here you go to this fit view click this you will see two key points here and this is for oblique view and this is for isometric so click isometric view and scroll this if you scroll the mouse you will find that uh, these are the key points then you can copy these key points here copy key points you choose box okay then you choose this then okay along y axis you have to copy okay so y axis we will put 400 mm uh, the depth of the overall depth of the beam so click ok now you have created uh, four key points then uh, we will go for um, creating area so cross section area will be created create areas arbitrary through key points so you click 1, 2, and 4, and 3. In some cyclic order, you have to click and then click OK. So it has created a cross-sectional area. Now, using this 2D cross-sectional area, you can simulate the beam. So go to plot areas. Now, you can copy the key point. Copy. This key point you have to copy. Otherwise, this key point you can copy click ok so along it is asking uh, that uh, offset along xyz so along z offset we will put here if you take the uh, dimension of the total beam as 5 meter here you have to put minus uh, 2500 ok along z offset so number of copies including the original is 2 so this is one key point and the copying copied key point is number 2 so number of copies here you can see including original so give apply now you can see that along the negative direction 50 key point is created now you create a line by clicking straight line you connect this key point and you choose this key point here you can click cancel okay now you are ready for simulation of the beam so you go to operate mode extrude areas along lines you you choose this area then apply it asks for line so you choose this line click ok so now uh, the beam is created okay now here if you want to delete that line you can delete it otherwise you leave as it is no problem at all now you can see the isometric view this is the cross sectional view this is side view this is top view this is back view this is left view 
and this one is dynamic uh, model mode you can right click and you can have these type of uh, um, movements for the simulation and if you click left click you can just move the uh, volume okay so this is what we have then you go to now we are ready for meshing so first of all you go to isometric view and then come to fit view so this is the fit view this is x axis this is y axis and this is z axis now you go to meshing before meshing we, we have to choose the um, element so you click mesh tool and then it is global so set uh, click global here you have chosen solid 65 you have chosen material number one real concept number one you click ok okay then you have to go for lines set lines then you click box and you choose this and click ok and it is asking for element length. you can give 50 okay so give 50 now it will divide all the lines uh, as 50 units okay now you go to hexahedron sweep and sweep click this volume okay. so now we have created the elements also so you can go to plot nodes see the nodes are created plot elements the elements are created okay so this is how we create the mesh using solid then you go to uh, sections b common section first we will create the uh, main bar so you write main bar then you choose here circular it is asking for radius of the main bar i will give 6 mm then you put apply then next one two then you put hanger bar so hanger bar dimension let me keep 10 mm so here radius radius is 5 uh, click apply then the third one is the stirrup now choose uh, the circular section and here is asking for radius of the stirrup you keep 3 mm let us go for 6 mm um, stirrup so click ok ok uh, now this is the end of uh, the first video